Hello class, this is Miss Augustine, and we are in chapter 12, which is about the gas laws, and today we're going to talk about the ideal gas law. So, for starters, let's recall that the combined gas law um, was talking about a fixed amount of a gas, and the combined gas law combined Boyle's, Charles, and Gay-Lussac's law. And so it looked like this, P1V1 over T1 equals P2V2 over T2, and that's equal to K, some constant. So now we have to kind of work our way up to what this constant is all about. And to do that, we start with our friend Avogadro. Avogadro's law, you'll recall, uh, was about the number of moles of gas and how it relates to volume. So you'll recall that Avogadro investigated the relationship between the volume of a gas and the number of moles of gas in a sample. And he found that at constant temperature and pressure, the volume of a gas is directly proportional to the number of moles of that gas present. So V over N is equal to a constant, or restated, V equals N, the number of moles, V volume equals N, the number of moles, times K, some constant. And if you look at this equation, it shows the direct relationship. So if you double N, the number of moles, volume will double. If you triple the number of moles, the volume triples. So again, an illustration of Avogadro's law would be here if we showed at a constant pressure, the volume and the number of moles. When n equals 1, the volume is here. n equals 2, it doubles. n equals 3, it triples. So this illustration is showing that the volume of a gas is directly proportional to the number of moles. So um, according to Avogadro's law, equal volumes of all gases at the same temperature and pressure have the same volume, and if we're talking about one mole of a gas at standard temperature and pressure, it occupies a volume of 22.4 liters. So the ideal gas law is taking this information, which we got from the combination of Boyle, Gay-Lussac, and Charles's law, that PV over T is equal to some constant, and that constant has two components to it, n, the number of moles, and r, which is called the ideal gas constant. So again, where n is the number of moles and r is the constant. So if we put that all together and substitute in nr for where it says constant up here, we get the ideal gas law, which is PV equals nRT. And if you know the pressure, the volume, the temperature, and the number of moles, you can arrive at everything you need to know about a gas. So P is pressure, V is volume, N is the number of moles, T is temperature, and R is this so-called gas constant. So R is this ideal gas constant, and depending on what numbers that you plug in for P, V, and T, you can get the ideal gas constant with different units. So for instance, if you were to plug in uh, the pressure as um, 101.325 kilopascals, a volume of 22.4 liters, um, one mole for the number of moles for N, and T um, standard temperature, which would be 273, you would get 8.31 liter kilopascals per mole Kelvin. If instead you plugged in uh, for pressure um, millimeters or tor, you would get, uh, I think it's 62, and if you were to plug in atmospheres, uh, you would get 0 0.08206. So again, depending on which unit you use for the pressure, you can arrive at the various gas constants, and that is how they are calculated. So 
I'm going to go through an ideal gas law example, and then I'm going to do a separate tutorial with a few more gas law problems. So here's the example. How many moles of a gas are in a sample that has a pressure of 1.85 atmospheres and a volume of 59.2 liters at a temperature of 37.0 degrees C? So remind ourselves that we're going to have to convert our temperature to Kelvin and then the unit that we will uh, use for the ideal gas constant is the one that includes liter atmospheres since you're given pressure here in ATMs. So identifying the variables, our N is what we're solving for. Our pressure is 1.85 ATMs. Our volume is 59.2 liters. Our temperature is 37.0 plus 273, which is 310 degrees uh, Kelvin and our R is 0 0.08206 and again we're using liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin to match our pressure unit. So here's our gas law, PV equals NRT. I'm going to rearrange to solve for N, so I'm going to divide both sides by RT. So N is equal to PV over RT. Now let's plug in numbers, N is equal to 1.85 ATMs, our pressure times 59.2 liters, our volume, divided by 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres, mole Kelvin. It's a funny complex unit, but that is the unit for R, and our temperature is 310 Kelvin. And now we have to cancel units. So atmospheres cancels out, liters cancels out, and degrees Kelvin cancels out. And that's going to leave us with moles, 1 over 1 over moles, which will be moles, and we are solving for moles, so that is good. So when you plug that into your calculator, 1.85 times 59.2 divided by 0 0.08206 divided by 310, you get 4.305 moles. And looking up here, we see 3 sig figs, three sig figs and three sig figs, so we got to round to three sig figs, which is the zero. The number immediately following it is a five. Five and above, we give it a shove, so our answer for n is 4.21 moles. We had to round up. So I hope this is helpful. This is Ms. Augustine signing off.